What is going on guys, Christian Music here, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be checking out Ableton Live's new update 12.3 and in this video in particular we're going to be looking at the Splice integration because I know a lot of people use Splice, I've been using Splice since like 2016, 2017 and now it's in Ableton Live, that's like too good to be true, oh my gosh but anyways, we're going to see how it is, how it runs and yeah, hope everybody's having a great day, let's go ahead and get into it so I just pulled up a random project, right, and you're going to go all the way to places, you're going to go to Splice so it's going to have a login screen, you're just going to log in with your Splice account. It'll take you to verify that it's you and then it'll look like this, all right? So looking at it, you got the tabs here, you got the home page, your own library if you saved uh, sounds before, if you downloaded sounds, like sounds, stuff like that, collections if you made any. It also has settings and the amounts of credits that you do have currently. Uh, so basically, this is literally like Splice, as I can tell. You got your samples, your vocal samples, your one shots, your loops, basically everything that you're used to on Splice. So whether you use Splice.com or the desktop app, basically it's the same thing, except it's integrated with Ableton. And the one thing, the one thing that I was hoping for in this Splice integration update, the CPU usage. If you're wondering about the CPU usage, oh my gosh, I, I tested it on a couple different computers. I don't know why. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it's the things I downloaded, okay? I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm just saying whenever I use the Splice desktop app, the CPU usage on that app was crazy. So not to get too technical, but this is your like CPU meter up here. I really need to mess with my settings, but if you ever if you ever have too many tracks playing at the same time or if you just make a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of MIDI, it's going to take up your CPU usage, right? And if you have the if you have Splice open as the desktop app, it's like Splice plus your DAW which mine is Ableton. Like the CPU usage is like off the charts, you know what I mean? Like especially Splice was always like comparable to Ableton itself. So you don't really have to worry if you're on a laptop or if you have a lot of things on your computer. You know, if you're like a photographer, an editor as well as, you know, making music, like you don't have to worry about the CPU usage because I know myself and some of the people that I talked to noticed that the CPU usage on Splice itself was kind of high. And now just testing the CPU usage just randomly on some samples. Uh, let's just go to this violin right here. Everything is integrated, so you play it literally right there. So the CPU usage is not what it used to be. It's actually better. That's a plus in my book. I'm already sold on this update, so let's just put it that way. But let's go ahead and take a quicker look into it. So you're going to find on this home screen, it's going to say search with sound. Immediately, I was like, what does this mean? So basically, you can drop whatever clip you want in here, and it'll give you samples that kind of sound like that clip, whether it's the same key, the same beat pattern, whatever, whatever, right? And we're going to try it. I wanted to try it with MIDI. I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to take this MIDI clip. Let's solo this and see what Splice kind of spits out. You know what I mean? So this is the clip right here. So we're going to put this MIDI clip and we're going to just search. Drop it. We're going to drag and drop it in there and see what happens. Okay. Processing. It's thinking. What is it going to do? Okay, so so here is our MIDI track that we made, right? And if I want something that sounds like that, so it came up with 50 results. Let's see. So as you can tell, same key, same kind of melody-ish, you know what I'm saying? Basically, it's like finding a sample, except it's like so easy. It, it just does it for you, right? Like I would have never found 50 results of this sound, of this kind of melody. So it basically just does the work for you. Now, some people may like this, some people may not. It's easier. It, now, some people may like this, some people may not. It is just up to you and personal preference. So if I wanted chords to this, instead of making my own chords, because I made my own chords right here. I can put these chords in there, drop something crazy. So let's just kind of pick one, right? I won't leave you, I won't leave and it even does vocals, that's crazy. So let's say I wanted this flute, right? I'm gonna go ahead and like it so I don't lose it. Uh, so if I wanted this flute, I would just drag and drop it. Let's go ahead and make an audio track. And uh, let's just kind of Turn down the volume a little bit. So let's go ahead. We put this flute and we go over here. We just put it in there, right? And it's if you notice, it's going to take away your credits. So be aware. I noticed it. it's really easy to spend credits. You know what I'm saying? Dragging and dropping. There's no 
at least for me, there's no button saying, hey, this is going to get, get this is going to take a credit from you. You know what I mean? Um, at least on like the website and the desktop app, you had the actual like plus button that you could be like, I want to spend a credit on this. You know what I mean? But now it's just drag and drop. Boom. It went to 603. It went from 603 to 602 credits. So keep that in mind. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay. So with the, with my kind of MIDI clip, it sounds like this. So as you could already tell, very beginner friendly. The amount of things you could do with this is crazy like depending on what you want to do you can literally get uh, like four of these right you can literally download so many different things right so basically what i'm getting at is the possibilities are kind of endless when it comes to this it's also a cool little thing if you had a melody in mind and you wanted to see if anybody else had the same melody like so my melody sounds like this it's like jazzy, but it's also kind of trappy. You can see there's nothing quite like it. That's kind of like orchestral. This is like plucky. That's kind of like dark. So it could also be like a test, you know, like, like, is this melody that I used? Did someone already use it? Or is it new or is it sound like something but it's actually my take on it you can use it that way as well that's just that feature of course there's a lot more features you can put what key it's in the bpm how many bars time stretch uh if, if you want like drums different kind of instruments my reference will stay up there so if i wanted to do just vocals i just go to the vocals right i'm in no way sponsored by this by the way i wish i was but <laughs> So these are all the vocals. See, I like that. I like that one. It sounds like a Travis Scott kind of thing. So it's basically, it's like your own stems, right? You can put a vocal. You can go over here to the instruments. You can put uh, maybe some guitar in there. And remind you, this is all just on the MIDI clip that I created with my own melody, right? basically it's just an easier way to find samples and honestly i'm rocking with it i don't know how much of it i'm gonna use just because i'm not used to it i i'm just used to opening all of my stuff at the same time you know what i mean like there is some sounds that i like that are only on splice and i found on splice like some different drums and stuff like uh, i'm gonna have to use this to actually like find stuff right so i have my hip-hop drums here just different ones from different different kind of uh sound packs so i have to go ahead and I didn't use this feature. If you already use this feature in Splice, all of your collections will be here already. Um, you can just do whatever you want with them. I just never made one because I just never made one because uh, I have all my sounds and folders. This video is just talking about Splice integration and what how it how it can kind of work. I'm going to do some more playing around with it, but you can kind of see with the tools that I've laid out how you can kind of find a sample that you want for your particular song. If you, instead of you being like, oh, I want a guitar, let me go to Splice and see if I can find a guitar. Basically, you just throw it in there and it'll find it for you. We're going to go over other parts of updates, but for me, at least, this was probably the thing I was looking forward to the most because of the whole CPU thing, uh, Splice, and I do a lot of sampling as well. So I use Splice uh, to kind of get some samples, whether it be a piano here, a flute there, a drum here, a drum line there, whatever, bongos, whatever it is. It's just easy and convenient. Everything's in Splice, you know what I mean? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you like the update, if you're using the Splice integration. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if I left anything out, or if there's other things that you've done with this kind of integration. I know I didn't cover everything. I just wanted to get this video out there and kind of show you how it could work in your kind of creative space, so to speak. But anyways, hope everybody has a great day out there and a great Thanksgiving. As always, keep making music, keep listening to music. My name is Chris Music, and I'm out. Peace.